Hello, you lot. Now, oh, I'm looking a bit... Look, look at the barnet. Don't worry about the barnet. No, definitely don't worry about the barnet. I've got my olive glasses on. Oh, awesome. Yes, I have. Now, today... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Today, I've got something a little diff to show you. Well, my beautiful friend... Oh, Les, I'm on my bouncy, bouncy bean bag. Um, yeah, I do sink right down in it. My butt literally consumes itself inside of the beans. I'm surprised I haven't lost some of the beans actually up the shrink. Oh, just as well. Not what I mean. But anyway. So, my gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous friend. And, you know, the other day, I kind of put a little something on Instagram, yeah? Because you know what, right? I don't know if you lot think this is bad, but you know I like to speak the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, Primark. <laughs> but, you know what? I literally, I'm like, my subscribers, they give me so much. Now, you don't have to send me absolutely anything. But let me tell you, there's a lot of you that have sent me bits and bobs and things that I really need, even from the USA, Yeah. Who have said, you know what, I'll send that to you. And the thing is, I find that there's people, I'm talking friends and family that I might have known for years or all my life that wouldn't do for me the things that you lot do for me and this friend I'm about to show you now. I have got a couple of good friends. One of them I've known for a very long time and um, she is just amazing so i've got her then i've got my lynn's because again she's good to me and amazing and then i've got my sarah now sarah i've only known my sarah for two years and we are like two peas in a pod honestly we're not as a box of frogs together and um we kind of like like the same kind of things and uh yeah and we just kind of hit it off and we talk every single day now i do call her i mean she's a bit of a vampire to be honest and i I say to her all the time babe go to bed and she texts me sometimes could be three in the morning talk to me i'm like i'm in bed yeah don't matter talk to me and then i go sometimes sometimes i have to tell her no then i say i'm like no <laughs> and other times that she you know like a spoiled child she gets her own way and i'm like well <laughs> But, like I say, we talk every single day. I've only known her for two years, just under two years, actually, it is. But, believe it or not, I've only met her twice. So, um, I met her Sunday just gone. And the reason being is because I knew that she had, we was exchanging birthday gifts. Um, Sarah's birthday was in um, March and mine was in February. So, um, but a couple of times we were meant to meet, but with one thing or another, either Sarah's side or me with my ailments and my stomach and whatnot, we we, we just didn't get to do it. So anyway, um, we made a day and we met last Sunday and we had a really, really nice dinner and afters. Oh, it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, but anyway, the first time I met up with her, she bought me a load of stuff. I'm in a load of stuff. And I actually sat there like, are you for real? You bought me all this stuff? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, why? You buy me all this stuff? And she's like, because I want to. Anyway, she bought me a lot of stuff, a hell of a lot of stuff, as I say. And it was her birthday. So I thought I'm going to get her a big box of stuff ready, like what she does for me. But I did. And she was over the moon with it. But i got to admit, I wasn't anticipating what she was going to get me which you're going to see today. And I can only, I've got to do it uh, as a haul on its own because she got me that much stuff, yeah? I was literally like Candice's dad, like, just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't. But anyway, before I show you what my beautiful Sarah's got me, um, you know, that's some of the doll. Yes, you do. I'm going to do a bit of my Harry here, wouldn't I? Let me put my glasses on that I can actually see out of. Yes. But like I say, all my subscribers, you know, you all give me lovely comments. And then, as I say, a few of you have been so kind. Like I say, I don't expect anything from any of you. Don't, you know, ever think that. 
because I don't. And if you want to, then obviously, I'm not going to say, no, am I? I'd have to be mad. But that's not what I'm here for. Do you know what I mean? I, that's not what I'm here for. Whether I do, whether I don't, whether people are nice, I prefer that you are nice. But if you're not, and that's your opinion, again, you're not. That's what I will say. With me, what you see is what you get. All right? Do I like a present? If you want to give it to me, absolutely. If you give me one, do I care? I also don't care. Do I love it when people give me nice comments? Yes, I do. If you give me shit ones, would I hate it? Probably wouldn't like it too much, but again, I don't care. That's just how I am as a person. But, you know, I'm very appreciative for anything, and I feel very like, here you go, you feel a bit like humbled. Oh, is that the word? I don't know. You're like, little old me, I mean that much to people. It's like, wow, I love it. Gives you a good feeling in the art, do you know what I mean? Anyway. What do baby apes sleep in? Apri cots. Guild. What? Oh no, these are just silly. Hang on. What? No, no, no. I can't. <laughs> All right. Did I actually just <coughs> make a noise there? I did. What do you get if you pour hot water down a rabbit hole? A hot cross bunny. Hmm. This is Harry Hill, isn't it? I tell you. All right, let me find some more. I mean, they are bad. They are, you know, they are. I ain't gonna lie. What sort of engine sounds like a parrot, a carrot? What sort of engine sounds like a hedgehog? A hedgehog pretending to be a goldfish. Oh, Harry. Why did the squirrels bury the acorns? It's just what the oak tree wants. They're playing right into his hands. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, they're not even funny. I'm going to carry on with them because, I mean, there might be a few diamonds in there, a few gems, but I doubt it. Anyway, you also know the time of day. It's time for my fact or fiction. Oh, yes, it absolutely is. Humans can distinguish more than one trillion different scents. Fact or fiction? I knew that would be a fact because I have got about a trillion perfumes, right? and I know most of the scents. A greyhound can reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. Fact or fiction? Fiction. They can reach up, up to 40 miles per hour. Yeah, I thought that. I used to go to the dogs back in the day, down at our Wolf and Stowe dog tracks. Do you remember there was Charlie Chan's underneath? Well, you might do. Uh, there was Charlie Chan's underneath and there was the dog track. And I lived and died in Charlie Chan's. Me and my sister, we were always in Charlie Chan's. And then sometimes we'd go to the dogs and all. And when the kids were little, before the, the uh, dog track shut down, we used to take the kids. And my mate, Carol, she used to come with us. I think she's about 175 now. But she used to come with us and she used to smuggle in um, fake Baileys. You know that Bally Castle, it was called? And she used to sneak it in in these little uh, pink things. Go on, have a drink, have a drink. Go on, have a sip, have a sip, have a sip. Have a sip. Go on now, go on, have a sip. You know you want to have a sip. We'd have to sit there drinking her Bally Castle, yeah, and she'd think she was all good because she smuggled it in like she was some top drug dealer or something with this Bally Castle. Go on, have a sip, have a sip. Go on, have a sip. She kicked me in that book she heard me taking the piss. That's what she used to do. You can ask my sister. Anyway, yeah, so we used to go and do that with the kids as well. That was quite fun. But then it closed. But it's a listed building, so the front of it's still there. A group of swans is known as a bevy. Fact or fiction? It's fact. So you know when you, you say, I want a bevy? A bevy bevy. I want a bevy and a bevy. Don't make sense, really, do it? But there you go. Dogs have four eyelids on each eye. Fact or fiction? Fiction. They have three. They have three eyelids. Well, I tell you what, I'm glad I ain't. Look at my balls, right? I just got one hooded eyelid, right? Look at the state of that. Don't, don't, don't laugh at my crappy eyeshadows. I told you I'd black it, I'm not good. But look, imagine if I had three eyelids, so it'd be like that. And then like that. 
and then hang on, let's try and give myself three eyelids. Oh, I can't do it anyway. But it'd be something like that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I'll do one more. I do one more. I remember when I was at school, right? Um, I don't know why I'm even thinking this. What's coming? When I was little, and what was his name? Mr. Golding. Mr. Golding, the headmaster. He used to get his guitar and sing. The ink is black. The page is white. Together we learn to read and write. And that's how he used to sing it. And he had this moustache. When he was singing, it used to go. <laughs> what am I thinking of that? I don't know. But I used to look at his moustache like. I was enthralled by this smoothing moustache. The ink is black, the page is white. And he used to have his leg leg up on a stool like, as, like he was sexy or something. I used to be like... <laughs> oh, if my sister's watching this, she'll piss herself. She remembers Mr Golding, I tell you. I'm sure he was called Mr Golding, yeah, he was. The penny black is an old-fashioned coin, fact or fiction. I know this because I used to collect stamps, all right? It's fiction. It's a postage stamp, yeah. A human being can live up to three weeks without drinking water, fact or fiction. Now, I think that is fiction because I think, hang on, it is fiction. Experts say we can't survive for more than three days without getting hydrated. La, la, go, dee, da. Na 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 I don't know the words. Ah oh, look I don't know. I don't know why it even come in my brain. Any anyway, I told you things just pop in there, randomness. Out of nowhere. Yeah, out of nowhere. Anyway, that is me facts or fiction. Anyway, it's also time my one thousand two hundred and twenty seven facts. Oh yes it is. A new owl species is discovered approximately every ten years. Da -ba -da -lum -bum, bum bum. An adult produces enough hydrogen in their urine each year to drive 2,700 2, kilometres. Really? Well, what happens if you're pissing all day long like me? I reckon I produce more than that. In 2012, the population of Facebook, Facebook, Schmacebook, I don't even go on Facebook, I used to years ago, but not now. In 2012, the population of Facebook passed 1 billion. If it were a country, it would be the third largest in the world. Before the Renaissance, three quarters of all the books in the world were in Chinese. Well, that was my 1,227 facts that were well, just, I don't even know, to be quite honest with you. Anyway, I'm going to change these because they're my reading glasses, all right? And I'm going to put back me, oh, oh, oh they're back <laughs> Anyway, so, like I say, I met up with my beautiful Sarah. And I'm going to show you all the bits that she got me. Because let me tell you, she got me a lot, all right? First of all, she did get uh, some quality street, but... Well, as you can see, they've been dabbled into. Now, not me. It weren't me dabbling. What was it? It may have been. <laughs> anyway, Quality Street. And then she got me these Jimmy Jams. Oh, the Jimmy Jammers. And she said to me, they are 12 to 14 leaves, but they will fit you. I told you, she could get a cup. She's calling me fat. I tell you. But she was right because uh, when we are uh, done the stretch test while we were there, I took them out. And look, they are... They are pretty stretchy enough and they're big enough. So she got me gorgeous uh, satin, gorgeous satin pyjamas. So there's the bottoms. Look at that. Gorgeous. And where's the top? And there's the top. Oh, the top does look a bit small, sir. I don't actually think them Jimmy Jammies are going to fall. They would have, bottoms would have done, but I don't think this top is going to fit over one's bouquet. But, you know, it is trying. I'll try. I'll try. I mean, because they are gorgeous. I will try, I tell you. And she put everything in these gorgeous bags, look. These gorgeous black bags. I've got loads of them, which I will keep because I'll recycle them. Which means when it's someone else's birthday, they're getting it in them bags, all right? Waste not want not. There's some more bags, look. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yes. Uh, anyway, then she got me this absolutely gorgeous um, Gucci style, I believe. Well, I say I believe it's a replica. It may not be. I don't know. But anyway, Gucci beauty bag. I bet she's like, she'll give me the cups if it's not. She'll say, Lisa, you cheeky cow. 
it's actually a real one I don't know and then it's like satin inside like that it's gorgeous isn't it I'm thinking I might put my makeup brush no not my makeup brushes no I might keep it for like um holidays you know like, you know, like, so you can put your, I could put my drawers in there, can't I? That's my knickers if you're not in the UK. We don't mean these kind of drawers, we mean these drawers that go on the food par. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she got me another Gucci makeup bag in blue. I'm, sing it with me. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da 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 dee da da da. Blue makeup bag. Uh, oh. I do like the inside. Look, it's like a gingham -y. Is that like a checkeredy gingham -y? Reminds me of my dad's Harrington jacket. He had a jacket with a similar. Was it his Harrington or was it? Oh, I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. But no. Yeah, so that's that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and then she got me this. I believe it is an eyeshadow. Let's open it bloody liver of mine i tell you one of the oh no i'm moaning again right should we try a bit on the eyeballs oh falling off of leslie's bean bag right hang on oh yes this one is like uh let's put it up here once i had love oh god and it was a gas soon turned out as a art of glass i don't know what that come in my brain I told you though, randomness just pops in now, all the time. You know, is it is it just me or is it not like when you put makeup on, do you go like, like thinking it makes you look better? I do. I do. It don't make me look better. I don't know why it, I think it does, but I'm like, oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like the twerp that I am. So yeah. Eyeshadowy, thin any bodney bow. And then she got me this. This is like a. Uh, I thought this would be ideal, yeah, for it's like a. What is it? Celestial? Is that celestial? Like a celestial stars or whatever it's called, and it's got Gucci written on it. But I thought this in my asthma. Ooh, it's so bad. <laughs> but I thought <clears throat> this would be good for like if I ever go abroad again, which I might do in I don't know twenty ninety seven or something like that. I thought it'd be good for a Z Beach. You know, like to put your um your factors in and roll and uh, your rolled up towel or whatever, and your sunglasses. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. This is all from my girl. I tell you. And then I was so taken aback with these. Look, so taken aback. So, in fact, I'm going to put them on right now, yeah? So, they're called Brilla Snow, Brilla Snow Spectacle Strap. Because I'm always moaning about losing my glasses. Well, no more. No more. The spectacle, Sarah, what's going on right now? She said, every time I watch her, baby, you're losing your specs. And I said, I know. I know I am. Well, how's, a, how's this work? As this bleeding work. What's that doing through there? Oh, okay. I fathomed it. You know me sometimes. I'm not very good at fathoming things. So let's get it on the end here. DIY with Lisa. Okay. So if I put it down there and then we're going to move this along. So that it's tight on there. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'm not joking. There we go, down there. ASMR. Everybody be quiet. Oh yes. That's it. Look, I ain't going to I can never lose my glasses now. Look, and when they're on, I can look even more so fierce. Look, with this chain. <gasps> I know. I know. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> anyway, and then, 
because I'm always whinging as well. Are you fearing all the time? I go, like, oh, bloody hell, I ain't got no scissors. I can't open it. So she got me a pair of gold. See, yeah, gold scissors, mate. wonder where they're from. They're from Ikea, sir. I don't know. Sax scissors. They might well be. It kind of reminds me of Ikea, but I don't know. It may be, it may not be, but I'm going to open them because they're going in my drawer so that I can um, use them when I need to, like open things, obviously. Sit down, anyone want a haircut? Let me do your hair for you. Short back and sides and all that malarkey. Yeah, they're gorgeous scissors, aren't they? So she's got me them scissors as well. And then, what else have we got here? She got me this little um, Hydra Beauty Micro Cream by Chanel. It's just in this box. I think it's like a little sampler, I believe. It's got like a little Chanel card. Like so. And then here it is. It is the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Cream, which will go in all, with all my creams now. So like so. And it is a five mil. There it is. Like so. Oh yes, oh yeah, oh yeah, and it's got a little uh, instruction thing in me body boo. Why do I give you instructions for creams? Don't you just put it on your face and done? Hmm? She says she's reading it like the fool that she is. Oh, I just love that sign. Anyway, I don't need the don't need the box or this box here. Yes. Boxes in the bin, but all I need is the product that's in there. So she yeah, so she got me that as well. And then she got me these gorgeous, and I said to her, oh, when I get home, because when I see a sunrise, so when I get home, I'm going to put these in. But I didn't, of course, because I thought, nah, I want to show everybody all oh, what she got me. And I could have put them in, I suppose, but do you know what I mean? I just didn't. Sorry if this is a bit of a quiet haul today. It's probably like Lisa, so boring. Boring, boring. Yes, yeah, so I'll get them out in a minute. Yes, oh, hang on, they were stuck together now. Yeah, so this little post Chanel earrings. And I reckon they will look absolutely gorgeous on me. I'll put them in there. Or I might actually save them until I'm going to do another piercing. I say another piercing, probably another few. Do you know what I mean? But these are very gorgeous. Let me put the back back on them. That's it. I'll keep them there. Because I can go then in my jewellery box behind the door. Um, some ribbons in there. So there's another bag. Right. And then she got me uh, some crisps. Never seen these before. They are Hunky Dory's. Crinkle cut cheddar cheese and spring onion. Yes, she did. And then she got me some Hunky Dory's crinkle cut buffalo crisps. Yes, she did. So try these crisps. Let me try them. I'm going to try them. Mind trying business for a minute. Mmm. I like them, sir. Mmm. Sorry, I'm going to eat these two. Very crunchy. I like them. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Mmm. What's happened? Someone's opened this chocolate. And add some, look. Weren't me, tell ya. Some naughty person's eating some. Who's been in the chocolate? <laughs> anyway, I just got me some chocolate for a bit missing. Weren't me. Sarah, did you eat that? 
<laughs> oh, I want to eat more than crisps now. They're nice. So I've got another bag here. I hope you ain't too bold with me. I'm not going on today, no. I'm being a bit slow. You know what I mean? Anyway, and then she got me. Honestly, she's just so amazing. They were just little bits and boobs. She went and bought me a 1080 digital camera to do my vlogging with. Um, so I'm going to show you it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So obviously I did. It was all sealed, but I've opened it and had a little look. Um, and it's really cute. It comes in a lovely like satin package. Because I'd said to her, um, I think I had mentioned to her about getting a camera. So there it is. And there's the back. It's got me this lovely camera. Fortunately, I can't use it with the mic she got me and, and uh, my setup. But I will be keeping that to take on my holes. Oh, yes, I will. I'm so over the moon with it. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so she got me that. And then she got me this microphone to go with it as well. Um, but the microphone... It can't be used with it. I think it's for a different type of camera like this. You see, it's one of these microphones. So unless Sarah wants it back, it might have to go on good old Vintardo. Otherwise, she's just going to be sitting there in the box doing nothing because I cannot use this one. Um, I definitely can use the camera, but I can't use the microphone. But beautiful. Uh, anyway, and then this, I couldn't believe it. She managed to come across, now I like getting vintage stuff, and what I do with the vintage stuff, I give it to Callie, because she's got a massive, um, someone just caught a glimpse of it there, like, I'll just see what it was, um, she's got a massive uh, storage unit, a glass one, and in it she's got a lot of the Walking Dead stuff, um, a hell of a lot of the Walking Dead, because she was collecting all stuff from the Walking Dead, some of it is uh, like rare stuff, and it's expensive, but in there... I've given her some expensive vintage products. So perfume, she's got Alexandra McQueen Kingdom because now so they're selling them for like 500 quid because obviously he's passed. Um, this specific perfume, specific perfume they don't make anymore. Uh, she's got a Paul Yates cream in there from the 80s. She's got a few other bits and bobs. But anyway, Sarah managed to get this for me. This is a vintage. This is from the 80s. Vintage opium so the box is a bit a little bit tatty not too bad but the inside of it look comes in the original case the original Yves Saint Laurent case and the soap that oh my god it's so beautiful the, str the strength the soap is still Done up, look, never been opened. And it's even got the, look, the Yves Saint Laurent, Yves, you idiot, I've just dropped it out, and I? The Yves Saint Laurent, like, little thing that it lays on in there. So, you know, Callie will keep this, because in years to come, uh, they're going to be worth dosh, mate. So, and I said that to Sarah, I said, you know, this is going to be worth, she said, oh, she wants me to have it. So, of course, I was really happy with that. So that, which is going to me mooms. She got me one of these, which I use. She knows I use these, so she got me one of them, our fairy. And then she got me, because I moaned before, she'd got me these pens, yeah. And I said to her, oh, the pen you got me, it never works. So basically, I think she was trying to say, Lisa, shut your gob, because now you've got three of them. So I've got three of them now. She said, and they don't work. So I was like, oh, uh, hilariously funny. I was like, oh, I'm so glad because I read hilariously funny. What did I say that for? Weren't hilariously funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're hilarious. Hilariously funny. What did I say that for? 
What was I ever meant to say? They're definitely not hilariously funny. They're good and I love them, but they're not hilariously funny. Honestly, I'm losing the plot. I really am. I mean, I have already, but I sometimes think he's going even... <laughs> they're hilarious. Everyone, I bet you're all laughing. <laughs> what the freaking hell? I nearly swore there. Anyway, three pens that are absolutely hilarious. Uh, and then she got me a, a notebook to go with it. Oh, I think I know where they was all from now. Things from Flying Tiger. Look, so it's like a daily planner and it's got weather and mood. Ugh, well, mine would just be down in the dumps all the time. You meant to work with your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, your today, your tomorrow. Oh, I think that's really good. Look. So, yeah, daily planner. She got me that. And then she got me Burberry Flesh, not Flesh, Fresh Glow. Nude Radiance. I don't, I think it's like a primer. I'm not, actually not sure. Um, Luminous Fluid Base. So it come in a little box like so. Like that. Fluid Luminous Base. I'm going to put a bit on my hand and see. Oh, right Oh, Yes, it is. It's like a primer, but a, a tinted primer. Look. Let's rub it in so we can have a look. It's very soft. Yeah, it's very soft. I can't smell much smell to it, but then again, my schnoz bucket's a bit, you know. Uh, and then she got me this Gucci Eau de Parfum 5 mil. Let's have a butcher's, yeah, let's have a butcher's. I've not even had a whiffy woo of it. Comes in a little gold bottle, like so. Let's have a look. Oh, there's my cat. Cali J! <laughs> Did you hear her? Bleeding past the trough. She was out the door. She's gone. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I was doing it all. Now you know. Alright. Yeah. See? Now you know. What a heathen I've got. That's alright, anyway, what did you want? Shall I stop it for oh, a minute? No, I, just to see, I just actually wanted to see what you were doing because you were oh. really like, <laughs> I wasn't going to say after all that, but I was pardoned. I didn't realise you were filming. Honestly, shouting to the door, honestly. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's alright, you don't have to worry. But you're a heathen. I heard the slippers, alright? I heard the door go and I heard the slippers walking across. I thought, she's coming in here. I didn't know she was going to let one belch out, did I? Here, Cal. Yeah. Try these, um... Try these crisps, yeah? Tell me if you have it now. Featuring Charlie's hand. <laughs> See how he looks on camera? Oh, You think they're alright? Yeah. Not too bad. Well, I like them. Mm hmm. Mm, that perfume. That Gucci perfume is absolutely well, gorgeous. All right, darling. Sorry for ruining your well, I'm dress. sure that burp didn't ruin it. Probably people will laugh at you, dirty Sorry. cow, dirty mare. As my dad would have said, dirty mare. He would have. He would have. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't actually know you was doing. I would have never come in and. Oh, don't worry, babes. I'm sure my. I'm sure you lot don't care, do you? No, I'm sorry. Listening to a burp. I'm sorry, Annie. I'm gonna let you crack on. Okay, darling. I'll be in a minute. You can make me a cup of tea. Love you, love you. Love you, darling. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Um. Um, and then she got me this Ernesto chopping board with collapsible strainer. Like so. So that's going to go in the kitchen. That's really good. So you put it over the sink and you can like, chop all your bits up. Oh, God, let me throw it. Chop all your bits up. Hang on a minute. Removable strainer for peelings. Oh, that's good. Collapsible. Shall I just have a look at it? Shall I? Let's get it out. Oh! Ow! Bleeding hurt myself now, Twossock. So, this bit fell out the middle. 
Alright, look. This bit fell out the middle. Like so. And then, one minute. Sorry, I'm eating them crisps again. So that's that collapsible thing in the ordinary boo, which I'll go and wash and put that in the kitchen. But <clears throat> this one, this is gonna knock you for six, all right? I'd mentioned to my beautiful Sarah that I do watch other YouTubers and I watch them on a little tablet that Callie bought me. It's a Samsung one. But she bought it for me, oh, a long, long time ago. Oh, a long time ago. Um, and I just said, yeah, I'll watch some YouTubers. I've got, I've got a little tablet. And she said, oh, I've you. And I said, yeah. Anyway, um, this just knocked my socks off. No, like me, 1,220. Well, this really did blow my socks off. Who buys someone a freaking laptop? So there's my brand new case, like so. It's all set up. And there's my laptop. Oh, need to be now off. <laughs> there it is. My laptop. Oh, I think it's a Chromebook, isn't it? A Chromebook. But it's all been set up, and it's much bigger than. Oh, it's switching itself on now, look. There we go. Look, it's switching itself on. But it's much bigger than my... Look at me. I feel like I'm posh now. Oh, let me just get into this. Password? I tell you I need a password. I did that, did I? Hmm. Hmm. Your pin or password couldn't be verified. Try it again. Hmm. Sign in to help. I'll have a look at that in a minute. It's <laughs> the wrong password. What a dickhead. But anyway, so. Yeah, so this is what she got me. Yes, I know. Who buys you a bloody laptop? Well, my best friend does. That's who. So that is my little haul from Sarah. And like I say, I am over the moon with it. And um, I just want to say how much I love you. I love you, Sarah, for buying me all them beautiful gifts. And because you are very caring she always asks me every day how are you how are you feeling and and if i've got a bad day or i've told her something that's you know not very nice she gets upset um and that is how you know someone has the most purest kindest heart because you know for someone to get upset and i'm like where are you getting upset for and she says because i don't like to hear that you're not good or they've said this to you at the hospital and blah she's just a very pure kind lovely soul is what she is and i'm so glad she's my best friend and i'm so glad i found her um as i say i've only got a couple of best friends i say you know i would say three really maybe four yeah maybe four a push but uh she's very very good to me yeah so i've got i would say i've got hang on let me go through my mates now sarah one I'm not going to name, Lindsay, Anthea, yeah, but like I say, all my girls are good to me in one way or another, um, so, and that's the main thing, can't have too many friends, but I am over the moon with everything that you've got me, my bestie bestie she is, and uh, I just want to say thank you to, oh, do you know what, before I go, I wanted to say, you know like some things can tickle you, so I went to see my auntie yesterday at the care home because she's got dementia, so it's a dementia care home. And they had their Easter party. 
and my aunt did make me laugh she said to me see that cook over there so I said yeah she'd oh her food's so good she went I'd lost a bit of weight but now I've put it on I did notice she put it on on her legs uh tops of her legs and her like around her hips and that I could see she'd put on weight and I thought yeah she's because she does love her food oh pardon me picky that I am um, and I thought yeah you know I could see she, she oh she's this new chef or I think she's an oh she does it really and um, anyway they were talking I was having a meeting um they do like different foods from around the world they'll do she said we'll do English food like the roast fish and chips of like she does like lamb biryanis um she was even like she does jollof rice and fufu I was like get out of here I love jollof rice I don't know if you remember seeing Callie and Selassie um, Callie's friend Celeste, she's from Guyana, she does jollof. Oh, if you've never had jollof rice, oh my god, it's amazing. So, now this cook was saying she does jollof and fufu. Now, fufu is like a, I don't even know how you can describe it, but it's in a bowl. Hang on, that was Callie at the dogs. My friend's trying to call me. Uh, one of my friends is trying to call me, and so I just said to her, she just spoke to her on her phone, but um, anyway, yeah, so. Where was I? So this, they were saying about the foods that are cooked. Um, <clears throat> you have to give like money to the care home, and the way they do they put it in like an envelope so that if Marty needs a chiropodist or a haircut or they go for days out and stuff, that there's money there. But they do do a lot of activities, and she's really well looked after there. She really is well looked after there. Um, and I couldn't believe that she, I was looking at some of them yesterday, and there was a one fella sitting over like to my left or from where I was sitting he was 91 <clears throat> and I said to one of the carers I can't believe he's 91 she went she's 95 I went 95 she didn't look 95 she didn't look 95 at all I couldn't believe it and then there was an husband and wife you have a bit of a laugh there there's an husband and wife and they're in the, in the care home together so it is a dementia care home so she also must have dementia as well but anyway she kept stroking his head yeah like that he had nowhere but he was all slouched over like that she was much more compassmentous than he was and he's like this and she's stroking his head f off he's going to her f off leave off f off he kept hitting her and hitting her she went oh you're a miserable old git f off just leave me alone f off and then he dropped his head back down again so i was looking at them and i was thinking god blimey but what happened, there was a lady. Now, apparently, my aunt said that she's quite new. Um, and I felt sorry for her yesterday because what happened, they had a singer. So this singer's come in and he started singing, yeah. Anyway, she'd been talking to me and she told me her name was Eileen, yeah. So, um, and she was a tiny, slight woman. I mean... I reckon she only weighed about a four stone. I tell you, she was a slight, slight lady. Nothing of a tiny little thing. Uh, anyway, so she went and sat behind the singer, obviously. So we was like sitting in, in the, like, let's just say the dance floor. It was like a dance floor and there was some chairs and we were there. And my aunt was eating and, and they had a load of food put on. And they said, you can eat it as well if you want. And I must admit, it looked amazing. It really smelled amazing. But as, I, you know... <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't eat any of it, you know, I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I mean, I did have a lemonade, but I had the lemonade out of like, you know, they give you plastic throwaway disposable cups, not like ones that they use there, um, this is not saying it's dirty or anything, but it's just me, you know, just again, it's just another OCD thing, I just couldn't eat it, but having said that, like I say, it smelled and looked delicious, right, um, so anyway, she's gone and sat behind where the singer was singing, yeah, and I think he was singing, yes he was, you know that song, Sugar Pie, Honey Bun, Bunch, you know that I love you, that one, right, I can't help myself, it's like, he was singing that, anyway, she's trying to grab his bum, this Eileen, and I told you, she's a tiny little thing, she's trying to grab his bum, so Mavis, she's one of the carers, she's like pushing her hands away, you're not allowed to do that, you're not allowed to, and she's going, but I want to. And she's going, no. And she's putting her hand, oh, I want to. I want to. And she's trying to grab his bum. I want to. I want to. Anyway, in the end, they've got in a bit of a scuffle where we old Mavis, right? So she's trying to grab this singer's bum. He's laughing and he's saying, oh, I'm getting sexually harassed here. But he was just joking. He was just, just joking. 
because I think she did get him a couple of times, but Mavis was like pulling her hand back, pulling her hand back. So she's like, oh, I want to, I want to. But then she lost her temper. Let me tell you, this slight little woman, right? She then threw herself on the floor, like what a child would do, a toddler. She threw herself on the floor, and when I say kicking, kicking and screaming, kicking Mavis. So Mavis had to call the, like the head carer over, Natalie. So she's called Natalie over, and another lady. It took three of them to get this woman off of the floor. She was tiny. You'd have thought you should have just gone like that. Anyway, no, and then they sort of have to kind of hold her hands. She's screaming, let go of me. I want to, meaning I want to touch his bum. Yeah. So they're trying to hold her. This is an elderly woman with dementia. All right. This woman, I tell you, I would not have messed with her back in the day. She would have smashed you to pieces. She really would have given you the cups. Anyway, Ash, they're... And she's like, get her out. They got her out of the chair. And then she started walking. And uh, one of them had her this side. And Natalie had her this side. She's done no more than pull out of Natalie's arms. And swang for her and hit her. <laughs> I mean, she really hit her, right? Um, but obviously, they've got to be patient. And then they was, you know, got back hold of her. And they walked her out. Anyway, she'd gone somewhere for a little while. Anyway, I'm sitting. <clears throat> so I'm sitting here. And then... Callie was there, and then my auntie was there, and my mum was there, and there was like a couple of spare chairs. One lady's come over and started to, like, well, I wouldn't say she was talking, but she was trying to listen and trying to join in with us, yeah. Oh, bear, bear in mind, while I was there, I'm getting them and bleeding dinners, because there's a lot of them. There, there, there was, you know, there's not an awful, there's not loads of staff, four or five. They can only get you a plate at a time. So I got one um, lady a dinner, and then this fella asked me to get him some dinner. He had a leg missing as well. He was, like, really old, and he's gone. Now they've all got dementia. And then another lady asked me uh, to get her some dinner so I got her some dinner and then there was this other lady she was funny she kept saying to me am I, am I going to Tottenham if I'm going to Tottenham will I give her a lift <laughs> I said well I used to live in Tottenham but I'm not going to Tottenham and she went to me oh I didn't say you're no good but um anyway so eventually this little slight lady who wanted to grab the singer's bum she's um come round and sat but as she's come round Come round to see it. I heard this other woman over there say, she's a troublemaker, she is. And the lady that had pulled up the chair just to earwig, she went, oh, and she got up and she, she scarpered. I think they were petrified of her. Anyway, she sat down and she took my arm. And she was going, kissing my arm. She went, I like sitting here. I like the atmosphere. And I don't like them, she's going, pointing to the kids. I don't like them. And then I said, you're all right. No, I'm not all right. So then she started crying. And I said to her, come on, Eileen. I said, come on, stop crying. I said, what's the matter? And I was trying to be like, you know, just, you know, just you've got to show them a little, you know, the humans, show them a bit of compassion, a bit of empathy, you know. So I said, what's the matter? And she said, oh, I want to go. I don't like it. Now, my aunt had said she's new there. It does take a while to settle in, obviously. Anyway, and then I'd make her laugh, yeah, and she would laugh again. She'd be, what are you doing? What are you doing? I said, oh, I'm not doing nothing, Eileen. What are you doing? I'm going to her. And she went, I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> and then she started crying again. So she was talking and crying, talking and crying, talking and crying, talking and crying. Anyway, when it was time to go... I'd seen that she'd taken Callie's jumper and she'd sort of rolled it up and had it on her lap. So, so Callie said, Mum, she's got my jumper. I don't want to like, pull it off her. So I said, uh, no, of course not. So I said, Eileen, I said, can I, can I have Callie's jumper? And she went, where are you going? I said, we've got to go now. So anyway, as I'm saying that, my aunt's done no more than put her hand over and whipped it out of her. My aunt never used to be like that, but I think it's you know it, the, the dementia definitely changed my aunt as well, um, and she'd give it to Catley. But then she cottons that I've left my cardigan over the back of the chair. Yeah, anyway, like a child would do, right? She's got my cardigan. She's folded it up. She's got it like that. I said to her, Eileen, I said I've got to go now. I said, can I have my cardigan? She went, nope. I said. But it's going to be cold outside. No! 
like that. I saw, I thought, oh, I'm never going to get it. Anyway, in the end, I went to her. All right, darling. I said, if you want it, I said, you can have it. You keep it. And then she went, oh. As soon as I told her I didn't want it, she gave it back to me. Almost like what a kid would do. You know when you tell them, no, you can't have it. Or if they think you don't want it. They, it's almost like, you know, with dementia, some of them revert back to being very childlike uh, uh, and doing things like a kid would do. Like I'm saying, that's the kind of thing that a child would do. Um, but yeah, so funny. Uh -uh, yeah, but anyway, I thought I'd tell you all that. But when she was trying to grab the singer's bum, honestly, she was like, oh, I want to. Anyway, listen, I've rambl been rambling on for 50 minutes. This is a long old video. If you've got this far... Well done. I'm going to give you a thumbs up and click your like and subscriptions for getting this far. But anyway, if you have, um, I'm so happy that you have. And I would really appreciate it if you could like and sub, wear my little fingers poking. Give me a thumbs up. Go on. You know you want to. And press your notification bell because it will tell you every time that I upload. I'd just like to thank each and every one of you for your lovely comments that you send to me and Callie all the time. Um, and to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, I'm dying for a cup of tea. I'm dying for the loo because this is a long haul for me. This has been 51 minutes now. My belly has worked its way round. I'm hoping there's not seepage on this beanbag, all right? If there is, Les, you'll know the reason why I'm not going to be on it next time. But anyway, I really have got to go because... I don't want to talk about the almonds, but I've got to go. Love you all very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.